Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. This video is a part of the miscellaneous series and in today's video we will be talking about multiphysics. In ComSol, the multiphysics option is very robust and that is why there is a popularity of this particular software in research and engineering studies. So today we will be discussing about this multiphysics option in detail. So for that purpose we have taken two physics one is your laminar flow and the other is heat transfer in fluids and we are thinking of a physical situation where we have a fluid flow and during the fluid flow the walls of the container may be kept at different temperatures so heat will be flowing through the fluid while it goes while it actually flows so we let us build this particular problem for that let us take a particular geometry say we work in the domain of centimeter right click on geometry we take a rectangular section say it has a height of 5 centimeter and a width of 20 centimeter say this is the pipe and material we choose water because water will be flowing through the pipe so we work with two dimension for computational simplicity we could have done it with three dimension as well so we take water this water is kept here it is asking for ratio of specific heat, heat gamma so for the time being let us assume it one because this is for learning purpose only but actually the uh, specific thermal conductivity I mean the ratio the gamma is different but we proceed with the value 1 so now let us define the scenario so we put an inlet here and at inlet let us define some velocity say 0.01 meter per second and we also choose an outlet because as the fluid is going in there should be an outlet to make it physical and rest of the walls are kept as physical walls so the, those are the two walls of the container or the pipe so here what we do is in the heat transfer we take a temperature boundary condition say this particular wall and we keep it say at a higher temperature 400 Kelvin and the upper one we keep it as a low temperature zone say this one will be say 150 now what will happen there will be a thermal gradient actually temperature gradient that will act from here to here and that temperature gradient will allow transfer of heat and the uh, heat will be transferred through the liquid water because in between we have water but the liquid will be flown in the axial direction and the heat will flow in the cross direction that means mutually perpendicular to the flow direction of water so how exactly this flow will affect the heat transfer that we can actually measure by this particular physics combination why am I telling physics combinations because we have two physics and these two physics are laminar flow and heat transfer so physically I told you so just try to visualize what happens if the liquid flows faster so suppose this is at higher temperature and the liquid will come it will take up heat if it flows faster so the heat will be taken away along the axial direction so there will be less scope of transferring heat to the other wall now what happens if we have a lower velocity of water then what will happen it will get more residence time and heat will get more chance to be flown from this hot zone to this cold zone so actually from the physical understanding we can see if we change the velocity it will actually alter 
the mechanism of heat transfer so somehow there is a correlation and that correlation in mathematical terminology we call multiphysics and now from the equation we will try to understand how exactly these two physics are coupled now let us look at I mean the water flow is kind of independent of the temperature profile because the major reason of water flow is your pressure gradient or the velocity source because here we have taken uh, an inlet velocity so this is a kind of inertia that is pushing the liquid away from the inlet so we have given this inertia as a source of flow and during the heat flow that also this also should affect the liquid flow but the thing is at a very low Reynolds number this effect is negligible and for the time being we think that the laminar flow physics is independent now if we look at the equation of laminar flow physics you can see this is nothing but momentum balance equation we have talked about this equation multiple times still i am talking about the significance of each term once again so this is basically the unsteady term and this particular is your convective term there will be a convective term, term because the water is flowing convectively so this is your inertial or convective term this is any additional forces if available for the time being for this particular work we don't take any external force but we will make another video where we will be talking about external body forces or surface forces those can be integrated here now this particular term has two different terms actually and those are this one is the pressure gradient which will be the reason for the flow and the other one is your or what we can say this is actually the stress term and from the stress we will have a kind of conductive or diffusive term or it is called in in momentum transfer this diffusive term is nothing but the viscous dissipation term or simply we can tell this is the term due to the viscous effect in water flow now we go to the yeah so one thing is important in this particular equation what we see there is one dependent variable that is u vector it will again have three components ux ey and uz but uh, the dependent variable is u uh, itself and the independent variables are this t and the space variables those are x y and z for two dimension we have only x and y but now if we look at this heat transfer what you see in heat transfer you have this temperature as your dependent variable and time and space as independent variables however there is another term u in this equation so this is different from here in the dependent variable we only had u in the laminar flow physics but here in the equation we see we have an additional dependent variable other than the temperature so in this particular equation we have two dependent variables now this u will be coming from this particular equation so this two i mean what if you now just think about the solution of this particular equation you can at least think that this particular equation is not solvable if we do not know about u so the information of u is needed in order to solve this particular equation but we cannot solve the u separately because that u may be again a function of this temperature so in that case if this is the case then these two equations have to be solved simultaneously and we call these two equation as couple differential equation and whenever we are dealing with couple differential equation in ComSol terminology we call it multiphysics 
because you have more than two physics in mathematical term you have more than two differential more than one differential equations and those differential equations are coupled because in one differential equation you are getting the dependent variable that is coming from the other differential equation and that is how you have to mention where from this u is coming if you see here dependent variables you have this t now you can see there is an option multi physics if i right click here and do a non isothermal flow so you can see what will happen this laminar flow and heat transfer in fluids those two things are coupled so how exactly it understands that these two physics have to be coupled because in comsol in the background algorithm this is defined so what comsol is looking at comsol is looking at there are two physics that have been taken by the user and the user want to couple those two physics so i mean previously comsol algorithm has that information that if those two physics are to be coupled then this is the manner by which that has to be multi physics coupled and that is why by default it is taking but what if we do not take it if i delete it then also manually you have the option of coupling this to physics and i will tell you about this thing suppose yeah so initially let us keep it once we run the simulation then we'll come back and talk about manual way of coupling but before that let us run the simulation so everything is defined in fluid what we have done is yeah so in fluid if we go you can see when we look at this options u then you can see one thing is coming that is nitf1 so the velocity is coming from nitf1 and this is nothing but this non isothermal flow now if i disable it what i was talking about so you can see now if you go to fluid you have option of manual selection so this part is very much important if you are working with multi physics so if you do not know about this inbuilt multi physics coupling then you should not go ahead with this option then you can actually choose manually so if you click on the drop down you can see there is option for velocity field spf because we have already taken spf so the idea is whatever solution is coming from this spf it will use that to solve this heat equation because in the heat equation there is a requirement for the u so this is how it will go now if you go to the material so you can see the material property is taken from the material so in this case we have taken water and the water is selected in this particular space and as the option is from material they, they, that is why there is no point of giving additional rho cp and gamma but what if we don't want to go ahead with the material then we can actually put some liquid or gas and then manually you can put the properties so there are two options available based on your requirement you can actually play with this now what i was talking about we will initially go ahead with the nitf1 option again i am showing you when you enable this nitf option you will be automatically taken by this in this spa both are same but uh, here we do it by the multi physics option and when we disable it then you have to do it manually now we go ahead with the simulation say we simulate it for a lower time for up to 0.1 i click on compute 
so it will take some time to run the simulation i believe this will run because the physics is properly posed now you can see there is one option coming group one group one group one so what happened actually we have not taken multi physics coupling in the solution and that is why it is solving as a segregated model so what does segregated model means segregated means it is solving for laminar flow separately and then it is solving for heat transfer but we have to solve it simultaneously because those are coupled equation and because i mean if you want to do that you have to go to this time dependent solver option and in the time dependent solver you can see the segregated model is chosen but if you right click on the time dependent you will get an option of fully coupled so if you click here you can see this segregated option is not enabled now so now it is actually the couple physics or multi physics couple and then if i run it it will solve for the coupled multi physics problem you can see now this group is not coming it is solving for different times and yes it has solved if you see this is the velocity distribution this is intuitive you have zero velocity near the wall higher velocity at the middle and it has also solved for the temperature distribution you can actually see at a time this is how the temperature is distributed you can see at the wall you have the low temperature because it was kept at 150 so here it is 150 and the temperature is higher at the bottom now what uh, what if we change this non isothermal flow we disable it what i was talking about and then in the fluid option manually which is spf yes this is chosen and then we solve so this is manual coupling option so with the manual coupling also you will be able to solve but i prefer to go ahead with both the options like if you if i am confident about this automatic coupling then i will go ahead with this one if i am not comfortable then it is advisable that i should look at the physics appropriately i define my physics so i will have more confident on it so those things are very important while we are you are dealing with multi physics if you deal with more than two physics then this particular multi physics coupling you should be confident about in order to gain realistic solution so today i stop here we'll we'll, we'll be again uploading videos on multi physics and related topic so meanwhile i would like to request you to subscribe to my channel because we are uploading videos in comsol uh, and also on other topics and those are helpful for you